Hey everybody, welcome back to the Devil Eyes channel, the channel that covers all things related to collecting the Donner items. Today we have a special video. We are going to look at the story behind the infamous Madonna erotica picture disc, a disc that has caused so much excitement and controversy. Ever since the picture disc was scheduled for release, there was so much anticipation by Madonna fans, collectors and dealers alike. And when the disc never materialized in record stores, stories began circulating as to the reason why it was withdrawn, sending Madonna collectors into a real frenzy. So we are going to explore the story behind the release of the disc, uncover the theories, and hopefully reveal the truth behind it all. One thing we know for sure is that there are very few copies in existence, making it one of the most expensive vinyl picture discs. Record Collector magazine even ran an article on the disc, adding it to their list of the top 250 most valuable records. When the song Erotica was released back in October 1992, it was shrouded in controversy. The single was promoted with a sexually charged video and offered a sneak peek of her upcoming projects, namely the sex book and the Erotica studio album, all of which included sexual themes and controversial content. The Erotica single had a picture sleeve design that was used across all standard international pressings. Warner Brothers UK promoted the song by releasing it in multiple formats. There was a cassette single, the 7 inch vinyl single, 12 inch vinyl single, the CD single and then came the special limited edition picture disc format. This is where things took an interesting turn. This interview with Jonathan Ross gave us a glimpse of what was to come. You, in the photograph you're sucking someone's toe and mm -hmm. I believe that's to cover the album as well. Is it? Oh it's the back cover. The back yeah. cover. Is this something that you, you actually find easy to do, enjoyable to do? Um, no actually I'd better have my toe sucked. So while Madonna was doing press interviews like this to promote the erotica single and album, Warner Brothers UK had already planned to release the single in multiple formats. When it came to pressing the picture disc, the production process began with a limited run of only 2,000 units. The design for the disc centred around an image taken from her upcoming book titled Sex, and it featured an image of Madonna sucking someone's toe. It was then colour treated, enlarged, and cropped to suit the round disc format. This was the birth of Madonna's highly sought after erotica picture disc. And here it is in its full glory, complete with the double sided backing insert. After the disc was withdrawn from sale, people quickly speculated on how many copies survived. One popular myth is that there were exactly 138 copies in existence. However, this seems too much of a coincidence as the actual code on the disc reveals that exact same number. There were also many stories which surfaced that gave explanations as to why the disc was withdrawn and deleted. Here are the three most common theories. Theory number one, a royal scandal. Around the same time that Erotica was scheduled for release, the Duchess of York, Sarah Ferguson, was embroiled in her own controversy. After her much publicised marriage split with Prince Andrew, she met a financial advisor who became her boyfriend. The couple were snapped by photographers on their holiday whilst engaging in playful toe sucking. The photos hit all the tabloids, causing great embarrassment for the royal family. Given the timings of the photographs and the similar theme of the Madonna picture disc, Warner Brothers decided to withdraw the discs immediately to avoid the idea of cashing in on the royal scandal. Theory number two, pornographic. This theory centres around the account of a Warner Brothers employee who happened to be working at the distribution plant at the time of the single's release. He states that after the disc was pressed and ready for inspection, the marketing director at the time, Rob Dickens, took one look at the disc and said, there is no way we're letting that get out, and deemed the disc to be too pornographic. He instructed the production team to destroy the discs. Theory number three, image embargo. The actual image used on the picture disc was taken from the Madonna sex book, which had not yet been released. The book's photographer, Stephen Mizell, held the copyright of the images used in the book. According to sources, at the time of the single's release, the copyright clearance was not given to the record company to use that image on anything other than the sex book and the back cover of the erotica album packaging. This would have required additional licensing rights and further costs, so the record company had no choice but to delete the disc. Regardless of which theory is most likely to be true, we know for a fact that the discs were pulled from distribution and scheduled to be deleted. 
The standard practice for deleted records was to pack them in storage under constant supervision with stock levels checked regularly to ensure that the discs were not misplaced or stolen. After a couple of weeks, management at Warner Brothers gave the order to destroy all the erotica picture discs, along with other deleted stock. However, before this happened, it is believed that a record company employee managed to smuggle a few boxes of the discs without detection. And soon afterwards, the word got around that these discs were going to be incredibly difficult to obtain, and hence, very valuable. The smuggled discs did eventually make their way into the hands of dealers and collectors, but due to their rarity, they instantly commanded a high price. Due to the fact that the discs are so highly sought after and the high asking prices, the discs have been subject to counterfeiting. Dodgy dealers have been taken advantage of the situation by producing inferior fakes to make a quick buck. There are a few circulating in the bootleg market, some of them originating from Russia, Italy and even Asia. But even with the latest technology, counterfeits will always display differences between the genuine and fake discs. And due to various production limitations, none of the counterfeit items match up to the high quality of the original or like pressings. The very high prices and rarity of the genuine disc is simply too prohibitive for most Madonna fans and collectors. And as a result, the only option for them is to buy the cheaper counterfeit discs, as that may be the only way to mimic owning the real thing. So there you have it. That's the story of the Erotica Picture Disc. I hope you enjoyed my video and if you did go ahead and click the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more videos.